with the way these the last few games went before this, how deflating is it to have the season conclude in this way? Yeah, I mean, well, for one, it always hurts to you know not perform, uh, you know, up to the standards that you believe that your team's ever played to. Uh, but you know, I wouldn't say deflating or anything like that. You know, it obviously hurts because you know the six win that we needed to be able to be bowl eligible, and you know that it hurts from there because we don't get that extra game. But you know, no, I'm not disappointed. You know, I'm glad that this team stayed together throughout everything this whole entire year. I mean, it was easy to throw in the towel early this year, but I mean, you see the grit, you see the fight. I mean, you, you see everything within this team, and you know, even to the last minute of today's game, I still think that we went out there and fought. So. And on that note, how will you remember this team and 38 people who went through senior day last time? Yeah, I mean, you know, first of all, like, like Coach Lightfoot said, program changers. I mean, there's a lot of people who, who stuck out throughout this whole entire process who didn't have to. I mean, you know, my class not being a, a class that Coach Lightfoot recruited, you know, there's a lot of people who could have thrown a towel, you know, went elsewhere. And um, to be able to say that they stood out there, th th stood throughout this whole entire process, I mean, you know, it's hats off to that, those guys. So I would definitely say program changers. Coach said that you guys uh, looked like a tired football team. Did you feel some of that coming off the three say, straight? Say again. Coach said that you guys looked like a tired football team. Did you all feel some of that coming in off of the four straight uh, opponent, ranked opponents? That you yeah, I mean, you know, I wouldn't say we, we felt tired per se. I mean, you know, I, then again, I have to go look back at the field. Um, I mean, I see the plays after each drive and everything like that. But I mean, to be honest, during <coughs> the game, I'm not. Like, all right, yeah, we look tired. Let's go get some more. Like, I'm, I'm trying to look at every mistake that we've made and try to be able to make corrections. So, you know, looking back at the film, we'll, we'll see. You talked about the mistakes. I mean, it, it was 21 to 10 at halftime and probably easily could have been, you know, tired of you guys ahead. I mean, how disappointing was that for you guys? Well, for one, I mean, there's there's some throws that, of course, I wish I had back. I mean, uh, I didn't necessarily put my team in the best position to be able to win today. And that's just something that, you know, I'm going to have to, you know, take to the chin and I'll have to be able to get better from that. Devin, for you, you did most of your games in the first quarter. What do you think was different then as opposed to the rest of the game and how much of it was just, I guess, situational with falling behind? Yeah, I'd probably just say situational. You can't really run the ball so much because the clock will tick. So had to find a way to uh, get back in the game. But you know, at the end of the day, we didn't execute. We didn't play the way we needed to play to win this game. You know, hats off to Baylor because they're a well-coached team. Disciplined, they played hard and physical, and you know, they did what they were supposed to do. For either of you guys, what was what was Coach Leibold's message to you like in the locker room after this? I mean, it was similar to what I just said. You know, um, uh, maybe he attributed it to just, you know, maybe you guys got maybe a little tired, you know, after a four-week stretch like that. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, we, we, saw, we all signed up to play the sport, and we know the how tough it can get. So um, I, I don't like to be the guy who gives out excuses. And, you know, yes, we had a fantastic stretch, but we didn't close out the way we needed to. And, you know, that, that's how it ended, you know, and so we had to find a way to, or future guys have to find a way to, you know, prepare differently, um, have, to have a better mindset from the get-go. I'm not saying that guys were complacent at the beginning of the season, but I, I don't believe we had that same edge and that same swagger that we played with with years past. So um, fall camp's going to be really important for these guys' development. You know, I, I'm really excited to, you know, come back and watch and, you know, give any advice to those I can. You touched on this a little bit, but you know, you chose to come back for this year. How will you remember it with all the ups and downs that it contained? I have no regrets. You know, um, so much we achieved still. Um, a lot of teams, a lot of people, you know, rid, rid this program off at the, from the beginning, and you know that that's really cool. And it just kind of set the tone for what this program can be, and it also set the tone for what if we don't do what we're supposed to do, what this program could be as well. Um, so I, I think that gives a sense of hunger for the guys coming back and. Um, especially the coaches as well. I know everyone's hungry to really um, get back and you know start the process all over again and be a better team than we were this year. And for either one of you, I mean, you kind of touched on it a little bit, but just sitting here with the fact that you know Kansas football is, is disappointed not getting into a bowl game. I mean, just how far does that say about how far that you guys have brought the program? Yeah, I mean, yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, my true freshman year we won one nine, so um, you know. Coming in, you know, as a true freshman that's coming in, you're kind of trying to figure out what college is like, you know, what, you know, what it takes to be able to help, you know, win games and everything like that. So when you come into an 0-9 situation and then you're finally able to bounce back to a 2-10, and 10, to a 6-7, and 7, to a 9-4, and 4, I mean, you just continue to keep trying to find those little things that will continue to keep elevating the program. So, 
Yeah, I mean, pretty similar. Um, I mean, it's just the standard now. And, you know, you see people are disappointed in a season like this. And we are too, rightfully so. We felt like we had everything in front of us. And, you know, I felt like I know in that locker room, we felt like we didn't play to our potential this season. And um, I still think in its own weird way, it's, it's unique and it feels really cool that, you know, we got to this point where we, we need to be competitive. We need to be a team that is at the top of the Big 12 because that's who we are now. It's no, it's no longer, well, we're excited for two wins or three wins or five wins. No, it, it's get to a bowl game, then some. Get, now it's going gonna, it's gonna to keep getting better. Let's get to the playoffs. Let's win the Big 12. Like, these standards keep rising. And, you know, it took a bunch of guys like me and JD and, you know, plenty of guys in that locker room, a lot of the senior class of sticking through this thing and, you know, a lot of determination, a lot of grit and a lot of fight in us. And you kind of saw a little bit of that this season as well. Jalen, by this time last year, you had kind of said that you were going to come back for another year. People will probably want to know what your plans are for next season. How do you plan to approach making that decision and making it public? Yeah, I mean, well, for one, I wanted to be able to wait till the season was over for me to even be able to, you know, think about such a thing like that because, you know, next year is a is a big part of my future, big part of, you know, being able to develop to be able to get to where I want to be able to get to next year. Um, so, you know, now that the season is over, it's definitely going to be something I want to think about. Mm -hmm. Um, like y'all were talking about being tired and just learning from this whole game, what is something that you would change in regards to your approach if you had the opportunity to do it over today? Um, you know, it is hard. You know, it's one of those, it's one of those things where it's kind of like hindsight is always twenty twenty, and you kind of just look back on, you know, how we came into the game and, you know, people don't necessarily think about, okay, do we have that same edge today? It's, it's hard to know, it's hard to tell. Um, you know, I just think it's one of those things where it kind of starts at the beginning of the season. Um, and it's kind of, the, today was kind of similar to how it went early in the season where we're just not clicking really in any part of the game. And, you know, it's really hard to beat a team because, you know, if you really look at the stats, it's like, yeah, we had a decent day on offense other than we turned the ball over. And you turn the ball over to any good team, they're gonna take advantage of that. And that's what the score said. But if you really look at the yardage and everything else, you know, we had a decent day. And so that's that's where those small details in your game, you have to focus on each and every week. Um, you have to focus on taking care of the ball. You have to focus on your progression as a quarterback or me, if I'm running the ball in the right place and getting it there or blocks. Those small things in the game matter. And, you know, not saying that we didn't care about it so much this season, but, you know, those were the evident things that you saw in each of those games that were close and it came down to that. It's just today was kind of just a snowball effect of bad thing after bad thing. So um, I would just probably say you just have to have more elite focus throughout the week. And, you know, it's crazy because I actually thought we had one of our best practice weeks. So sometimes it's just how the cookie crumbles and it's a unique game and you have to show up each and every day. Couldn't have said anything better. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.